The next set of methods I want to look at with a list are these removal methods. We've seen adding items to a list. We've seen inserting items to a list. Now we need to see the removal methods. How do we take an item out of a list? Hopefully you saw with the adding and the inserting that a list, every time you want to add or insert, there's overhead to doing such. The list has to shuffle items around. Here's our initial sequence right here. I'm going to write these values inside of this drawing. Don't blink. Here is our underlying array. The capacity is eight, just because we, we looked at the default implementation of list. Now it doubles in size each time. Uh, the count is five. And in fact, let me just prove that. We've seen it before. Console right line my party ages dot count. That'll be five. Control L, Control V V, and the capacity will be eight. Control F five, and you see, yep, five and eight. This is our underlying array. Let's try removing one of these items. Let's remove the 39 and the first method I want to look at is this remove at method. Remove at takes an index of the item that you wish to remove. The indices here are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I want to remove the 39 I have to specify index 1. Let's go my party ages dot remove at 1. Before we actually do that let's do a for each int i in my party ages console right line, but I'll take the line off of this. I'll say I plus a space, and then home, home. Uh, let's grab this, control C, control V. So I'm printing the list before I do the removal. I'm printing the list after I do the removal. Let's insert a blank line right there between the two prints of the list. Control F5, build that, run that. You can see uh, before we remove the 39, we have 35, 39, 42, 88, 99. After removing the 39, we have 35, 42, 88, 99 because 39 is now gone. Well, hopefully you're realizing to remove the 39 and to keep all the values here contiguous, when we do a remove at, the list has to do a shuffle. We saw with insertion, when we want to insert some values, we have to shuffle everyone to the right. When we want to remove some values, the same thing, but we have to shuffle everyone to the left. So in this case, the 42 needs to move here, 88 needs to move here, and 99 moves to here. And that's probably done with an array.copy with the built-in list. Now let's change this built-in implementation to our implementation. So I'll put me out here on the front, me list, and me list right here. We'll get some build errors here saying you don't have a remove at method because in me list we haven't added it yet. Let's Let's add that public, oh wait, these are helper methods, these ensure capacity, public void uh, remove at int index, and then ideally in here we do some bounds checking, but you see I've been very lazy adding bounds checking them. Uh, this is demonstration purposes anyway. I'm, I'm trying to remove a single item, a single index, and so we'll just do that with an array.copy, well, that's what we've been using everything. And I wonder underneath the hood if array.copy actually goes to native code and does like a mem copy or something to that effect in low level C land. But anyway, items, that's our underlying array. Let's change the overload as we usually do. The source index will be index plus one because I want to copy from index plus one. Let me see if I can illustrate that. In this case, we're removing at one here. So this is the item that we're trying to remove. The index is one, so I want to copy, let me get that IntelliSense back up, control shift space, down arrow, the source index, I want to start at index two, so it's index plus one, I want to start at index two, and then the next one, down arrow, down arrow, the destination array is again items, we're copying into the exact same array, the destination index, however, is index, I want to move all these items to the index that we're trying to remove, so I'll say index here, and the length will be count minus index plus one. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Our count is five. I want to copy three items. Our count is five. So it'll be five minus the index of one plus one. Five minus two is three. And I want to copy these three items right here. I want to copy them. I just want to bump them over uh, one spot. That's kind of a crummy way of drawing it. Hopefully uh, this works and obviously we need to change our counts as well. Count minus minus because we just removed a single item so we'll change the count as well. Control F5, build this, run this, you can see hey the result is the same. 35, 39, 42, 88, 99. We removed the 39 so it's 35, 42, 88, 99. Very good. So that is remove at 
and hopefully you see a little bit of overhead there once you remove something you have to shuffle it around now I'm not going to implement remove range you've seen me do insert range I'll leave it as an exercise to you I'd strongly suggest doing a remove range I think that'll be educational for you instead of watching me do all the coding so I won't implement remove range but I will implement remove we already did the remove at let me get the remove at out of here we'll implement the remove and we'll also uh, look at a little bit at remove all in the next videos